In this video, I'll talk about how we can build an Ethereum arbitrage bot using BitQuery Mempool API and Uniswap SDK. Now, please remember that this is a concept video where I will perform a swap whenever there is a difference in price for same token on different exchanges. The exchanges in question are Uniswap Exchange and SushiSwap Exchange. So in this video, I'll talk about how we can get the price of a token which would be a wrapped Ethereum from mempool transactions on different exchanges and how we can swap our wrapped Ethereum for another token that would be USDT using Uniswap SDK. Now before performing any swap, you need to have a certain amount of wrapped Ethereum in your wallet. For that, firstly you'll need to connect Web3 and then deposit a certain amount of your Ethereum. After that, you'll need to approve the Uniswap router address to perform the token trade on your behalf. I'll share the link to this website in the description of the video along with all the required addresses. So I have already got my token, so I don't need to perform it here and I'll move ahead. So after we are done with those, steps now let's jump into the implementation part of the bot so in this repository you can see we have a readme file with a set of instructions that you can follow to get your arbitrage bot running and the prerequisites are that you have node.js and npm installed and you have a bitquery free developer account with an oauth token other than that, to make sure that you install all the dependencies listed in the package.json file that you can do by typing the instruction npm install. I have already done that, so I won't be doing that again. Also, make sure to create your env file and write all the variables that I have mentioned in the readme file. I'll provide you with the required addresses and URLs in the video description for your reference. So we'll get our RPC endpoints and other URL from the env file and we have created our wallet and provider using ethers.js library. Also we have created a router to execute a trade on our behalf using the alpha router from Uniswap v3 SDK. Firstly, let's check the check arbitrage opportunity function. So what we'll do is we'll call two functions over here that are Uniswap trade, get Uniswap trades and get sushi swap trades, which will return a list of trades that occurred on Uniswap and sushi swap respectively. So after getting the list of transaction will run a for loop and check the price of our wrapped ethereum token on uniswap and sushi swap and this is the logic which is our strategy for arbitrage bot now note that it is not a profitable strategy because it is just a demo video but you can create your own strategy and place it over here so our strategy is simple that if there is a price difference we'll execute a trade so what we'll do is uh, we'll get the address of wrapped ethereum and usdt token on ethereum mainnet this is our amount in and what we'll do is we'll execute uniswap trade and sushiswap trade simultaneously so the logic for uniswap trade is we are going to use the router that we have declared earlier to create a route for trade and on that route we will send this transaction after which we will get a transaction response which we might console log later for seeing what are the results and so let's run this now so what you need to do is you need to type npm run start for running the script of arbitrage bot and you can see we have results from the bitquery apis there is a price difference okay so let's see 
okay so we have got an error uh, and let me quickly check what's the possible reason for that okay i have checked the reason and it appears that i don't have enough ethereum in my main net wallet to fulfill the gas fees so that's why the transaction has failed and given an revert error but make sure that you have enough ETH so that you can run this now let's try to understand more about the uh, uniswap trades function and sushi swap trade function so what we are doing is we are running this query from bitquery ide so you can see over here i am selecting the evm m pool as true network as ETH and over there i have selected the text trade option and what i am getting out is the block time and for the trade the buy currency its price in usd and the sell currency and its price in usd and i have a filter on the buy and sell currency which is the buy currency is uh, wrapped ethereum and the sell currency is usdt also note that there is a filter on dex owner address which will help us provide with the trades that only so you on can the select this button and select the node.js axios option for which you'll get the code snippet that you can run on your local pc to get the, the data in your local terminal make sure that you change the OAuth token over here in the config with the OAuth token that you will get from your developer account and I'll share a tutorial link for how you would get that token in the video description so this is for Uniswap trades and this one is for Sushi Swap trades and I'll also share the link to these two queries in the video description like and subscribe and make sure to join our telegram channel